Hey lightweights and welcome back to some more Until Dawn. Um, last video, stuff really started to go down. We had Jess get taken by a spirit of the woods snatched right through a window. Um, a bunch of our group knocked out and kidnapped by a creepy clown. I, <sighs> I was jumping left and right. It was terrifying. But I'm ready and I'm very excited and I've been counting down the days till I get to play again, which is very weird for me. Um, so as terrified as I am, I am still very excited to keep playing and I hope that you enjoyed the shenaniganry, which is the new word that we have added to the lightweight dictionary. Um, I hope you enjoyed it last video and hopefully there will be some more of this video for you guys. <laughs> Um, if you are new here, please make sure you subscribe to the channel, hit that bell button when you do so that you know when I post future videos. And like always, before we get into it, I would like to thank my channel members and patrons for sponsoring today's video. Not sponsoring, but you know what I mean, making today's video possible. Dan, Riley, Toth, Meat Wizard, James, Niall, Fantasy Hawkeye, Matt, Simone, Nathan, Roderick, Reagan, J Logic, Barry D, Patrick, Ronnie, Chance, Charlie, Jersey87, Robert, Tom, Miggy, Rape, Jago, Kelvy, Shane, Heath, Artist Jack, Larry, Achille, Kazer CEO, and Payton. All right, you guys, here we go. There is one individual we're considering as a person of interest. He has an interesting history with the Washington family. Apparently, he had warned them against pursuing their construction project in Blackwood Pines and claimed the land was sacred to his forefathers. Why does that always happen? S. I. S. T. Sister? Ask it whose sister. Josh, it's, it's gotta be. Which sister is it then? Ah! Run! Run! Ah! Ah! Oh my god! Hush! Hey! <laughs> Honestly, I know she survives because the totem showed us that she does. But I don't know how you, like, she survived that. It looked like she was getting glass, like, severing her freaking spinal cord. Oh my god. Oh my god. Jess! Jess! Guess ready or not, here we go. Oh god. That was a bad idea. Jessica! Jessica! She would be. No! I know going around is longer, but I feel like if we jump down, we're gonna hurt ourselves. That's a long freaking jump. Sometimes shortest is not always best. Keep going, keep going. Oh, that was close! Fuck. 
great first thing in the morning. <laughs> it's not great ever, it's just, to be honest. Although I probably should have slid down there. Oh well. There's no way we're catching up to her anyways. Looked for stuff up there? Shit. Jessica! She does not look okay. Somebody that was our friend that I just shot. Wait, what did I just do? Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> We're not doing too great with the quick times right now, so. skewed there and we probably should have gone after our girlfriend to make sure she's alive oh. Oh, no. Ooh. 
Ashley? Oh. Ash. Ash. Nothing? All right. that door? Okay. Ash! Is Sam still in the tub? She's still taking a bath. Jump scare in a while. Anyone out there, Ashley? What's that over there? Just a little one. I mean, the blood goes this way. What the fuck? Who is this? <laughs> Chris. Oh shit. Well, you know, I'd rather be a pig than a friend. Creepy? Yes. Weird? Yes. Messed up? Yes. But not our friend. So, you know, silver lining. That must be whose blood all this is. Is it right trigger that's faster walking? Because I feel like it's not doing anything. Ash. I still Ash. wonder if all of those Ash. masks would have changed if I had said different answers Ash. in the questionnaire at the beginning. Ashley? I'm also feel like, feeling like I should have checked the house more before I left. <laughs> Ash! Ashley! Uh, Ash, I'm here! Where are you? Uh, I don't... Hey. God damn it! Mm -hmm. Help me! 
Uh, I'm coming, Ash. Just, uh, just keep talking to me. What happened? I am. I can't. Oh. Chris, are you there? Hello. What in the song? Thank you all for joining oh me tonight. What? We're going to conduct a little experiment, sort of test. Now, for this experiment, we'll need the cooperation of our two test subjects. Joshua and Ashley. Oh okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Why does that voice sound like Joshua? Why does it sound like Joshua? Listen to it. Listen to it. I'm gonna need one more brave participant to help decide. That's which Joshua! Will live and which will die. Ah! Please, 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 everyone calm down. It's all very simple. Christopher, you will find a lever placed directly in front of you. All you have to do is choose who you will save. Oh, no. oh, oh, okay, 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 this is gonna be okay. Oh, crap, oh, crap, oh, crap. oh dude, buddy. Oh Let's just God. think about this for Grant, a minute. You can't let me die. Just give me a second. I, 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 uh, huh? I can't think straight. Just, just. Huh? What happens if I just don't choose? What happens then? Okay. I know it defeats the whole purpose to pause and think. But we got it. We got it. We got it. We got it. Okay, okay, okay. What if, hear me out, and y'all are gonna be laughing at me because this is totally not gonna be what it is, but what if Josh is in cahoots with whoever else is roaming the woods, okay? And he's doing this, because that sounded like Josh's voice. All right, he thinks we will pick Ashley because we like Ashley. Oh, I'm totally overthinking this. But what if, like, if I choose Ashley and I move the lever to Ashley, like, it will actually save Josh and it will turn it to Ashley? You know what I mean? Like, what if it's, like, opposite time? But I don't know how Josh would have tied himself up there. But it sounds like Josh. That voice, the undertone, take off all the masking layers on top. That sounds like Joshua. <sighs> but I don't know. I feel like... I like Ashley more, so I want to save Ashley, but also, like, Joshua's been his best friend since elementary school. Ugh. Okay, hold on. Hold on. We gotta, we gotta look at this for a second. Where are our totems? Where are our totems? We missed a bunch of death totems. Shit. Okay. What is this one again? Possible future event? So... The, I thought that was... Loss. The potential loss of a friend. We haven't had anything about Ashley yet. Except for that one. What is this one? Wait, so it's possible for Ashley not to get punched in the face and knocked out by the clown? What? Oh, fuck, guys, I don't know what to do. God, Ash. Chris, please. Oh, God. This is insane. This is not. This isn't happening. Chris, please tell me this isn't happening. I, 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 I don't know what to do. Bro, we've only been through so much. Come on. Oh. I see. You've chosen to save Ashley. Oh no, it's a mistake. It's not what Josh, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean for this to happen. Man, I'm, sorry. I'm sorry. I'm 
Why would you do this? Magic! Why can't I look? Please tell me he's okay, please. Oh. I thought I was saving Josh. <laughs> what the fuck? I thought I was saving Josh. I thought going to the lever. <sighs> okay, well. Levers work. I thought the lever to the Josh picture was, hey, we're saving, we're saving Josh. We're choosing Josh to be saved. Guess Josh is not in it. In on it. I okay. I'm Fuck, going, man. I'm gonna get you the down. Well. Shh, stop, stop, please. Come on, come on, let's let's, let's get no. you down. Come on, we're gonna get you out of here. No! You gotta go, okay? <laughs> but what was even the, what was even the point of the previous choice if that choice was gonna get, n negate the first choice? What? What? I done fucked up. I didn't I didn't mean to kill Josh there. Chris. Ashley. Oh, I forgot they went to what go get the bag. Is that, Ash? Josh, are you okay? Chris, what happened? Josh, Josh, what? Dude? He said, Wait, not what? right in front of us, man. What the, are you talking there's about? There's a maniac. Maniac? Oh my god, we gotta get out of here. I don't understand what happened. There's a maniac, and he was, there was a sign. It was either him or Ash, and I, I don't know what to do. It go right through the head, spill it out fucking everywhere. What? Oh my god, Chris, what? And I, I killed him. Oh, I, I, I him. It was my fault. Man. No, no, this is insane. We need to go get some help. We go right in half. We're gonna figure this out. Matt, we need to go get help now. And we should look for the others. Mike and Jess are off 69ing each other, and who knows where Sam is. I think she's in the lodge. Fine. Fine, you're right. Get everyone else together, but if there's a maniac running around, I think we need to get some help too, right? Not just wait around. But what about- Why are we still talking about this? Let's go! They calm down very quickly. <laughs> they must be a chuck. Well, I screwed that up. Oops. Hello again. Things are getting pretty tense up there, aren't they? Is the night going the way you hoped it would? Hmm. I see. And you think that these poor people are getting what they deserve? No. I can't say that you're showing much loyalty in the way you're playing. Why does this room keep getting creepier and creepier? Was that a possible if I didn't choose, I could have saved you? intend to continue with this elaborate self indulgence? Not really, no. no. No, I don't. The heart of the problem, it all comes down to this. Can you really tell the difference anymore? Are we in the asylum? I doubt it. Well, 
What is happening? What is happening? Okay, that was a short segment, so we're gonna do another one. I can't believe I freaking just murdered him on accident. I've just been through enough spooking for one night, okay? I see a hot bath in my crystal ball. So have fun. If I didn't choose, would they both have died? Like, this is really bothering me. Oh my god. Oh my god. Also, is Jessica one dead? One we're considering as a person of interest, but his whereabouts are currently unknown. Because the elevator now, fell? still the old sanatorium on the mountain. Could he be hiding there? Have I already killed two people? And where's Sam? Sam's just chilling in the bathtub. Everyone around her is dying. Just taking a bath. That's not good. That's really not good. Wolves? Who's in there? Why are you making sure that's locked up? Good. So Mike's about to get eaten by wolves. So that's great. That's great. I'm just gonna tell myself that I don't need to rush because I always feel like I need to rush. And that's when I miss things. Like this totem. Whose death is this telling me about? Michael's? Oh, fortune. What? That was white! Oh, fortune is white. I thought death was white. What's death? Oh. Black. Good fortune. So that would be a good thing if he's out there? Okay. Seems scary to me. God, I missed so much shit in the last chapter. Stupid false sense of urgency. I fall for it every time! I guess we're not going over there. I saw a plaque over there. I want to go get that plaque before we go inside. Awesome. Condemned. Why wouldn't I end up in the creepiest place on planet Earth? I don't know if I should be doing this. Oh, I was trying to move it the wrong way. Oh shit, this way I'm supposed to go. No, wait! Ugh. Farts. Damn it. Damn it is right! I thought I was going through the front doors! 
Guys. <laughs> Every time! Okay. Wait, how do I get up there? Wait a minute. Can I climb up? Wait. <laughs> Maybe I have to do something here first. Two totems back to back. This one's cute. It's like a little owl. I'm sorry. It's a frog. Who is that, Matt? And who is attack? Oh, some zombie ass looking thing. I don't know. Nope. Mm-mm. Watch your head. Looks like he's about to knock his noggin. Oh, that's different. He's very calm about all of this. What if I wanted to go... What if I wanted to go and... in there and you're trying to just waltz in with no weapon no nothing you think you're gonna punch a wolf out honestly let's use some brain cells here for a second i know we didn't really have them earlier today i can't get up there shit okay Fuckity, fuckity, fuck, fuck, fuck. This was the hole, right? Wrong. Glad I checked. Administration notes. A note asking staff to prepare beds for miners who were rescued after an incident at the mine. The miners were brought to the sanatorium to recover. Memorandum, date 4th of January, 1952, to sanatorium staff from Mr. Roosh. Roach? Roche. Rouchy. 
Rescue of minors. Be advised that the minor rescue is due to be completed tomorrow, 5th of January. As the number of surviving minors is unknown, prepare all beds in Ward A. The press shall be in attendance tomorrow. We must be seen to be giving the minors the best possible care. Note that press visitors are not to be allowed into the psychiatric ward. Failure in this regard would reflect badly on Mr. Bragg and the sanatorium as a whole and shall result in the on-the-spot dismissal. That's weird. They just forced them all out. Okay. So we could have just come through the front door. So we only came, went through the hole to find the totem? Look at that. Our lantern's like, nope, I want out. I want out. Get me out of this. And it's freaking the fuck out right now. Clocking in cards. It's a batch of 30 clocking in cards from the mine, locked away in a safe. This means there were 30 miners trapped in the mine. Okay. Why is that going to be important to us? Does that mean there's 30 bad people running around? I don't like it in here. What is this? What are these noises that are happening right now? How is he so calm? He is not at all panicking. The lens of this camera is smashed. It looks like someone did this on purpose. Someone didn't like their picture being taken. Oh, the wolves are way too close for comfort. We are about to get eaten by a wolf. <clears throat> ah, good. The morgue. This is great. This is great. Newspaper dated 1952 with a story about a reporter being banned from visiting a group of rescued minors. The report had his camera confiscated. Oh. The Alberta Post, 9th of January, 1952. Reporter assaulted on Blackwood Mountain. Blackwood Pines, a reporter from the Alberta Bugle, was assaulted and hospitalized yesterday by security personnel at the Blackwood Sanatorium. Chuck Bernstein, a senior news reporter, was seeking an interview with the miners, dramatically rescued on Tuesday. The men had been trapped underground for over three weeks after a structural collapse at the Northwest Mine in December are now being treated at Blackwood Sanatorium for malnutrition and trauma. Jefferson Bragg, sole proprietor of both the Northwest Mining Company and the Blackwood Sanatorium, Oh, told the Bugle yesterday that the incident was unfortunate <clears throat> and that a full internal inquiry, inquiry had been launched. He also claimed that Bernstein had been trespassing on sanatorium grounds without permission. It is believed the assault arose from an argument about Bernstein's camera, which was confiscated immediately prior to the attack. Interesting. This must be the camera mentioned in the newspaper article. Someone really didn't want these pictures getting out. What did he see? What did he see? <clears throat> I mean, 
mean, do we have to go to the morgue? Is that entirely necessary? Medical notes. Miners rescued from the mine were healthier than expected, although some had exhibited reintegration problems. Update. The report mentions 12 miners, but there were 30 clocking in cards retrieved from the mine. There is no indication of what happened to the other. <gasps> they didn't. They were cannibalizing them. Minor medical report. Attending physician, Dr. Bowen. Medical report. Report follows. The initial state of the 12 miners after the collapse of the mine and subsequent rescue at Blackwood Pines. Admittance. On receipt of the 12 patients at the sanatorium's medical facility, we had fully expected to find emaciated shells of men, starved and confused. Thankfully, these miners appear co cogent? Sure, and relatively healthy, attributed to their apparent discovery of emergency food supplies in the mine. Okay, okay. Inhibited respiratory function was detected in a few of the older men, as predicted, as well as symptoms of pneumonia. Psychologically, after being trapped for 23 days, the shock of reintegration has been difficult for some of the group. Though their outward health is better than expected, they do seem affected by their time in the mine. Well, if you eat your fellow miners, you tend to go crazy. Treatment. Due to the delicate nature of some of the patients, we have closed off the A-wing of the sanatorium. Psychological evaluations will take place as soon as possible. The men with the respiratory problems have undergone a bronchoscopy and are prescribed a course of streptomycin. The others are simply kept under strict 24-hour observation. Signed, Dr. Nicholas Henry Faulis Bowen. That is a name. <clears throat> they... 100% were eating people. Oh boy. <sighs> yeah, let's go down to the creepy morgue to find a creepy guy with pet wolves that are gonna eat us. Okay, hold on one second. I had a frog in my throat that I just could not clear. You did not need to keep hearing that. Oh, I'm about to get scared. Shitless. We're about to hack and slash our way through some wolves, and I am not for that. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Let's turn my ass around right now. Get the hell out of here. See, I hate this. Which way am I supposed to go? Through the doors? Oh, no. Okay. Okay. <sighs> a chair with leather straps to restrain the patient. There's blood on it. It looks like it was used as part of a weird experiment. Why is there a crib? Excuse me. <laughs> Why are there cribs here? Oh, it, 
How many days will they keep us could, here? Uh, who? How would it... My thoughts exactly, Mike. My thoughts exactly. So, did they put all the patients from Ward A down into the morgue? So that they could put the miners in Ward A? <gasps> okay, that was an overreaction, but I had thought a wolf was about to attack me. Apply immediately, reporters and other snoopers to be kept away at all costs. Wait, hold on. Can I have turned that over? Wait, wait, wait. I was not done. Hold on. Flippity flip. Uh. A telegram warning about press interest in survivors brought to the sanatorium. The mine owners were trying to cover something up. Western Province Telecommunications Co. Telegram. Dr. Richard Castle, Blackwood Sanatorium, to Mr. Bragg. Incident update. 12 survivors received at sanatorium. Showing signs of mental trauma may need to contain. Local press now have the scent of blood. Becoming a problem. Please advise further. Gee, who wouldn't want press snooping around this paradise? I missed a clue back there. Gosh, darn it all. I always think I'm doing so well. Okay, can we hold the lantern in the other hand so we can get our whack on with that machete? Hello, friend. Can I... Can I have you join me, please? Oh, that's it. That's a hand. That was a hand. That was a hand! This was the observation room. I know how to walk game. I just don't want to. the jump scares. I like those better. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Is this what he was feeding now? <laughs> ah! 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 Oh, 
traps are indeed very hard to open. There's a lot of pounds of pressure. But I was not about to chop off my fingers. Although they probably would have been chopped off by the bear trap. Or mangled beyond repair. So we might be losing those anyways. This place just gets better and better. A disfigured human head suspended in formaldehyde. That looks like the thing that smashed in the face in that one totem we saw. Uh-uh. Nope. Nope. It's just rats. It's just rats. It's just rats. Uh <coughs> Mortuary tag. The name on it reads Nicholas Bowen. Description. Tagged by inmate. Fatal lacerations to the throat. That'll do it. That'll do it. Nope. Ew. Don't breathe. Hold your breath. A hastily written death certificate dated 24th, February, 1952. It describes the body as partially eaten. Oh, those miners are cannibals. Those miners are cannibals. And they are still cannibals, even though they're out of the mine. Okay. Name of the deceased, Sarah Smith. February 24th, 1952. I hereby certify that I attended the deceased from March 8th, 1951 to February 24th, 1952, and last saw her alive on February 24th, 1952 cause of death, severe lacerations to the abdomen, intra-abdominal injuries, subsequent blood loss. If death was due to external causes, violence, fill in also the following. Accident, suicide, or homicide. Homicide. Manner of injury. Laceration by sharp implement, possibly fingernails. Additional notes. Please use the box provided overly for any additional relevant information. There is none. Signed by Bowen. On reverse, additional notes. Body was not discovered until six to eight hours after death. Sections of the intestine and kidneys were apparently eaten by the attacker. This just keeps getting better and better. All right, creepy door, meet your maker. Do it quick! So I wasn't wrong about rats. Sort of. Okay, let's check this out. Okay. Oh, I couldn't have gotten in the store yet anyways then. Alright, that all worked out then. I'm feeling very calm for some reason and that is gonna be bad for me because something is gonna scare me real soon I'm sure of it I'm also feeling very hungry which is an awkward thing to say after seeing that corpse and talking <laughs> Okay. 
Okay, let's just check out up here first. Isn't this a quaint little psycho crib? to us now because we booped it in the nose. I am your master, wolf. cigar box. Only a single cigar is left. It has a distinctive brand label. So that was the guy who's in the mines. Have anything else over here? Yeah. What's gonna be in the creepy chest? Should I go give it to the wolf now? Here, wolfie, wolfie. A map of the mountain with sightings and recent disappearances marked with dates. It looks like the work of an obsessive mind. It's interesting. He shut that when he was. Oh, there's a little. Okay. So, what have we here? Why? I mean, I guess you're probably cold, but gross. <gasps> Ok, 
Okay. So am I supposed to shoot the lock off? Oops, shit, sorry. Oh, left bumper is the walk faster. Nah, okay. Cool, cool. This... <laughs> Seems like a great way for the bullet to ricochet and smash into ya. I don't really know how that works, but I feel like shooting metal is not the smart thing. wind sounds like yelling. The miracle men. Oh! Aha! A framed photo of the group of miners rescued after a cave-in dated 1952. The plaque says that all 12 miners survived. Update. There were 30 clocking in cards from the mine. The miracle men. The successful rescue of all 12 miners trapped in the disaster of so they lied about how many men were saved. The photograph only showed 12 survivors. They lied about how many people were actually in the mine. So they are covering up shit. playing with us. Hey, it's locked. The hell who did that? Then there's some seriously uncool shit going on up here tonight. I can't believe Josh is dead. I can't believe how he died. No, I, I mean, what if they were wrong? What? Maybe we should have checked the shed to see if it was really true. I, I don't know. There are some things that once you see them, you can never unsee them. Yeah, I guess, but some things you have to see for yourself. I'll take their word for it. You don't need to see that, honey. Trust me. Paint? It's still fresh. If you skip them, it doesn't mean you necessarily miss them. Sometimes they're out of order? Okay, so I gotta be careful near edges. Look! An axe. I have a 
little better with an axe. I'm sorry, where's the axe? Oh, in the door. Great. An axe stuck into the door of the cable car station. It definitely wasn't there before. Sorry, I gotta get all these. Okay, update. According to the book in the cabin, the symbols are to ward off evil spirits. The label is the same as the cigar box found in the sanatorium. Matt and Emily found the axe down at the cable car station. Oh, what now? This is locked, Matt. We'll break the door down, will ya? Whoa, wait a second. If we start smashing shit down, he's gonna hear us. Well, you got any better suggestions? I don't know. How about... Look! What? A window. That's great, Matt. I can just about fit my lip balm through that little slot. Oh, come on. You will never fit through there, big guy. I won't fit, but you will. Are you nuts? You're gonna shove my ass through that little hole? I've seen you slip into some pretty tight jeans, Em. Uh, excuse me? It's a talent. Fine, let's do it. And it might open up wider. <gasps> See, look it. More than enough room. Uh, all right. Here goes. Ah, uh, damn it. We know creepy clown guy is somewhere Come else, on. so we're good. Oh my god. It's pitch black. I do not like this. I'm right here, Em. I can't see anything. There's so much crap in here I keep bumping into. It's okay. Can you find the latch? Oh. Anything. No, man. I think there's spiders in here. Be careful. Oh my god, this chick. Hey, I'm, I'm just trying to be helpful. Almost. Almost. Oh. Matt, seriously? Alright, what the hell was that? What? I'm in the pitch black with spider webs and dust and... Ugh, you just go wandering off? Em, I just... Don't M me. This is a complete and total breakdown of even the slightest glimmer of trust I might have had that you can protect me from the bad things that are out here. And I am just majorly bumming out. Em, just stop. I'm really sorry. I don't know what I was thinking. <laughs> well, see, you were thinking, for one thing. <sighs> this chick. Damn. We were here just a few hours ago. This must have just happened. What the fuck is going on? It's got to be the guy, the, the one who who got to Chris and Ash and Josh. He's got to know this is the only way back. Don't say that. Look, the cable car's all the way out there. Well, that's, I, I mean, that's not far, right? You, you can jump it? <laughs> I'm good, Em. But not that good. Flattered, though. Well, Matt, if you can't jump that, what are we gonna do? I, I don't know. Maybe try to turn it on? Everything is like so busted up. I think they knew exactly what they were doing. Okay, so we can take the ranger path. Hey, look! Fire tower. Hey, Magellan, maybe we should get the cable car working and take this show on the road, huh? Very friendly. Ugh, unfollow. Oh my god. No keys, no cable car. So, back to square one. <gasps> what about the fire tower on, on the map you found? Well, I, I guess it's an option. Oh, maybe it has a radio or something. I mean, it, it would, wouldn't it? 
Probably, yeah. Matt, we gotta get to that radio! We can use the radio to call for help. Somebody's gotta pick up the signal. Oh, well, someone's learning to play by the rules. What? What rules? Rule number one, Emily is always right. Rule number two, nothing else matters because Emily is always right. Uh-huh. Gotta say, still not a fan of Emily. Is this the part where I can die? Uh, oh. Look at this bad boy. You're coming with me, buddy. <laughs> What's well, that little Just trot like in place? Magic. Come on down. We can totally get out here this way. <laughs> You're right. To protect me? Okay. Okay, easy now. Okay. All right. Oh my gosh. Okay. Almost. Almost. I'm feeling kind of faint. Don't look down. Whoa. Okay. Okay. Holy crap. My ass would have been facing the other way, hugging that wall. Looked like a flare gun. Does that mean it wants me to take the flare gun or not? What if it doesn't work? What? The radio. It'll work. But okay, if it doesn't, we need a plan. Maybe we can just climb down. Climb down what? The mount. Are you serious? What's the big deal? It, it's not like it's floating in the sky. <laughs> It might as well be. It's pitch black out. Hey, hopefully we won't have to. You think the psychopath is just gonna give up and run away? No. But maybe we should find a safe spot. Hold up, wait it out. It'll be a lot easier to figure this all out in the morning. As long as we don't hide in the lodge, that's where he expects us to go. Oh no, this is where I can die. No, it's probably be kind of slippery in the snow. Oh, shit. Beth never went anywhere without her cell phone. She must have passed this way on the night of her disappearance. Whoa, this is Beth's phone. I thought the police, like, swept the whole area. Well, it looks like they missed this. Cows?
Do you hear that? Doesn't that sound like cows? Okay, so we're gonna be running away from that creepy thing in the woods. Oops. Be careful here. Watch where you step around here. Yes, Matt. Given the choice, I'd prefer not to spend my evening plummeting to my death off a snowy cliff top. Alright guys, I'm gonna stop there. Um, my plan was to stop at the previously on Until Dawn segments, um, but this one is going a lot longer than I anticipated, so I have to stop because I gotta go be a mama. Um, so sorry for the awkward timing. In the future I am gonna try to do the, the natural breakpoints of the previously screens, um, but the first one was just so short that it felt I didn't, I didn't want to stop it at 20 minutes, <laughs> so um, hopefully from here on out, it'll be a little bit more smooth sailing, but I guess we'll see. Um, this one was much less jump scary, much more gruesome, uh, which to me is just gross. It's not scary. I prefer the suspense jump scare in terms of feeling fear. Um, obviously, I think I killed two people. I'm not sure if if Jess is alive or not, but we had that one totem of her like falling on the elevator when she died. So it's probably, she's probably dead. Um, and then obviously with Josh, Josh, right? I don't know if there's a way I could have done that differently. It seemed like there was a possibility for um, Ashley not to have been put in that situation. So that's interesting. Uh, I wonder what I would have had to do differently for that to have happened. Um, and if there was a way for me to get both of them out alive. So if you know the answer to that without giving spoilers to future stuff, let me know in the comments. But if that's going to be verging on spoiler territory, please just wait. Um, still having a lot of fun with it. This one seemed much more tame in terms of me being scared but we did learn a lot and we we're unraveling a lot more of the story, which was interesting in its own way and fun in its own way. And I'm glad to finally be catching up with Sam back in the lodge to see what's happening in the lodge. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please make sure you subscribe to the channel, hit that bell button when you do so that you know when I post my next video. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it and I hope you have an amazing day.